one of the complicated disciplines is the steel structure and specifically in this project is the dome. But in the dome itself, there are many complicated aspects. The first aspect was building the steel structure itself, the steel structure of the dome. Then the second part was to build the four layers of cladding underneath and the four layers of cladding on the top. The third aspect, which nobody really sees, is the temporary towers. The temporary towers weigh as much as the dome. So it's as if you're building two domes on top of each other. These temporary towers, which you can see in the, in the background, are just there to carry the dome while it's being erected. Now we have to remove all of these towers fast to be able to lay the stone on the exterior plaza to be able to finish the galleries from inside because some of these galleries are penetrated by the towers. Also, some of the towers are on the external part of the building. So these towers have to be removed so that we can flood the site and switch off the dewatering system for the project completion and handover. For the past year or the year and a half after building the steel structure of the dome, we were fixing on the cladding layers that you can see now, the four layers on top and the four layers on, pot on bottom. Uh, to be able to do so, we were using the temporary works as platform to fix these stars in place. So for the past year, what all the cladding, all this marvelous, beautiful view that you can see now, was obstructed by these platforms. So in the, in the past two months, when we started removing all of these platforms, this was for me like the, the, the moment when I, when I personally started to breathe. It was as if, as if a big load came off my chest. And now you can enjoy this amazing design and this marvelous view of the rain of light and of the dome itself.